The ocean is important to me because of the experiences I've had recreating in it, first as a swimmer playing in the surf, and then as a scuba diver. I have been completely blown away by the diversity of life within the ocean. However, it doesn't take long to realize human activity is having an increasingly mounting negative impact on the ocean ecosystem. Since coming to Hopkins Marine Station, many guest lecturers have spoken about the importance of getting involved in government as being one of the most helpful and useful ways to protect our oceans. We're, we're not trying to change the corals, we're trying to change people. We're trying to change human behavior and the most powerful way to do that is to be involved as a citizen and be political and, and, and dedicate part of one's energy to changing the conversation in a more constructive direction and I find that very satisfying. The branch of government that has the greatest impact in protecting the ocean is the legislative branch or the lawmaking branch. Each person in the United States has three representatives in the legislative branch, one representative and two senators. Representatives are elected every two years and are therefore constantly either up for election or just coming off an election. Therefore, a representative is most receptive to hearing what are the important issues their constituents are concerned about. Despite how important these elections are, only 40% of eligible voters vote in midterm elections. Even though it's been said a million times, it's so important to vote in all elections. But it can be hard to know exactly who to vote for. And therefore, listening to the advice of advocacy groups for issues you are concerned with is important. For ocean issues, Ocean Champions provides a comprehensive voting guide. If you want to contact your representative or senator directly, there are a number of different ways to reach them. The most important thing to keep in mind is that Facebook, Twitter, and online petitions have no impact on their decision making. Between the options of phone, letter, or email, a survey of 200 congressional aides showed that they believe phone calls had the least impact on changing a legislator's position. Due to safety screenings, letters take almost four weeks to reach your senator's or representative's office. Therefore, for time-sensitive matters, letters can be ineffective. Therefore, personalized emails are the best way to have your voice heard quickly on an issue. Regardless of what method you choose to contact your representative in, here are a couple things to keep in mind. 1. Prove your residency early on. Your input will be given lower priority if it isn't explicitly clear that you are a constituent. 2. Be concise. A high school or college unpaid intern will most likely be the one reading and responding to your input. Make it clear and easy for them to know your position. And third, make it personalized. Generic or automated messages are given no consideration. It is so important that we keep the world's largest ecosystems healthy, so please do your part to make your voice heard.